Hey guys, Crewman here. Carlson 2.0 is live. I've got my test bench testing all the 30 series GPUs and my farm is back up and running. It feels good to be GPU mining again. I've got my 170HXs, all of my 30 series and my 40 series on Carlson Hash version two. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do what I'm doing and that's mine Carlson version 2.0. Get on it early and take advantage of the high yield right now. This video is going to assume that you already either have a Carlson wallet or you know how to make a Carlson wallet, and it's going to assume that you know the basics of how HiveOS works. So without further ado, let's get a quick word from our sponsor and then let's get to it. This video is brought to you by HeroMiners.com. They are one of my top mining pools, and I've been using Hero Miners for the last probably almost two years now. They have every pool that you could possibly think of for every relevant coin and they're continuously adding coins as they become relevant they ha they have good cpu gpu and asic pools they have low pool fees and they have a fast payout in this video i will show you how to mine carlson version 2.0 using hero miners and if you look at mining pool stats you'll see that hero miners is in the top three pools so that you so you know that if you're doing solo or pool mining you're going to get the best chances to make the most amount of Carlson you can, which is great because GPU mining profits have been in the gutter lately. So thanks again to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to set up the flight sheet. So you need to navigate to the flight sheet page in HiveOS. This guide assumes you know how to do that. Then you need to go find the coin. On the drop down box, you need to find KLS for Carlson. Next, you need to go to add wallet. And you're going to get the wallet address that you got from either your web wallet, your core wallet, your exchange wallet, whatever you chose, whatever you chose to get. Next, you're going to click on when you click on the new wallet, it'll look like this. And you either have two options. You take your address and you put it into the box that's highlighted red on hero miners. If you choose to solo, you have to put solo in front of your address exactly like that. Or if you just want to mine on the pool via their pool, not using their solo pool, then you just put your address as normal. So either way you want to do it is up to you. And the early going of the new fork, when the hash rate is low, I generally recommend soloing. But again, that's up to you to do whatever you see fit. After that, we're going to go back to the configuration uh, page and we're going to go to pool. I just like to do configure pool and miner to make sure that I have everything correct. And you're going to want to go to HeroMiners.com. You're going to want to click on the Carlson, uh, the Carlson page. So you go, you go to home. And when you get to the Carlson page, you're going to want to find the server that works best for you. So for me, it's USA East. So I'll take the USA East server and then I'll just copy it. So then I want to go back into the flight sheet configuration page. I want to go to the miner box. I want to drag down and hit Rigo Miner. And then I want to click Setup Miner Configuration. Miner Configuration will look something like this. You want to make sure for the hash algorithm, you have Carlson Hash version 2. For the wallet, password, and worker name, do whatever you see fit. I generally use the stock set, the stock settings where you basically you just click on the I and it will generate the text for you. In the pool URL, that is when you want to paste the server that you selected from HeroMiners.com. For me, it's USA East. And you can see what it looks like right there. And then finally, in the extra config arguments, where you, this assumes we're using Rigo Miner as well, which is my miner of choice. You're going to see the settings that we used. And these settings will work for the RTX 3060 Ti, the 3070, and the 3070 Ti. I will have in the description down below all of the OCs that you need to mine for all the 30 series, the 170HX, and the 40 series on Carlson Hash. And that's it. This is a super easy guide and pretty straightforward. Thankfully, Carlson Hash is almost the same in terms of overclocks to iron uh, as Fish Hash. So we won't have any issues getting it going. Uh, right now, it doesn't really have that many coins that you can dual and triple mine with. And frankly, I would recommend that you only mine Carlson Hash. I wouldn't even recommend mining Zill with it right now as you want to get as much yield as you can. Now, obviously, the older the coin gets, then you probably want to move to Zill and I'll share a guide for that at a later date. So again, thank you to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. They are my pool of choice for Carlson Hash. I'll put a link down below for them. And uh, this is the pool that I would recommend using right now. Also, they are the third largest pool currently as far, on my, as far as mining pool stats goes. And their fees are pretty cheap and they pay out very fast. 
So thanks again for watching this video. Enjoy the boost in profits and hash rate for as long as it lasts. And thank you again to Hero Miners for sponsoring this video. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll update this guide if anything changes in the future. Groupman is out.